Hello. Oh, there you go. Um, and I would love to see that performance. So again, congratulations for the township of the Ottawa Valley for 40 years of serving the community. And uh, we are going to have a taste of how these amazing performers will be on June 30th. And now I'd like to call on our member of parliament and our most gracious host this evening, Mr. Blake Richards. the opportunity now to introduce you to uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, this is a friend that I went to university with and I remember saying when we were in university we would talk politics and I remember saying this guy is going to be the Prime Minister of Canada one day. And I maybe didn't realize quite how prophetic I might have been back then because you know, he, this, is a, this is a man who came from humble beginnings. He, uh, he was adopted by two parents. He was, he was uh, you know, born to a single mother and uh, adopted by his two parents, the school teachers. Uh, he went on to marry his wife Anna, who is a refugee from Venezuela. And the big thing for them was that they realized, like any of us, there was a promise that Canada had made to all of us. And it was a promise that we never really spoken, but we all knew it was a promise. And it was a promise that if you, no matter where you were from, no matter how long you've been here, no matter where you come from or who, or who you were, if you worked hard, you would be able to have a good life. You would be able to own a good home and a safe neighborhood. And that promise over the last nine years has been broken. And that is why my friend Pierre has put himself forward, because he knows that someone has to turn all that hurt into hope. And he's put his name forward to make sure that we can give everyone that promise of Canada back. Because we need that. We need to bring home that promise for everybody. And so I would like to introduce tonight to you the next Prime Minister of Canada, Pierre Polyev. You now want me to sing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to I'm going to work on that. Uh, our, our candidate Rachel is going to teach me how to sing. Uh, next year we'll have something to say. Does everybody know our candidate? Ra Rachel Panzalan. She's our candidate in Winnipeg. Yeah. She's going to be a brilliant voice for Filipino Canadians, for all Canadians, as the next member of Parliament for Winnipeg North. Yeah. And we need her voice. We need her voice because we need the values of the Filipino people back on Parliament Hill of faith, family, and freedom, hard work, and patriotism. These are the values that countless Filipino families have brought over the Pacific to arrive here and help us build this country. A country that allowed me, as the adopted son of two school teachers to rise to this office, allowed my wife to come here as a refugee from Venezuela, starting off six people in a two-bedroom apartment, but her family now succeeding, her brother a carpenter, her other brother a soldier, a sister a nurse, her father now having a successful business. That was the Canadian story, that anyone who worked hard yes. could do anything, no matter where they came from. That was the Canadian promise. Amen. But after nine years of Trudeau, that promise is broken. Everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. Housing costs have doubled. Crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder are common in our streets. 
and thousands of Filipino nurses are blocked from working in their profession. Shameful. The good news is that life wasn't like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. We're going to bring home the country we love. We're going to make this a country where hard work pays off with a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. We will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime in our communities. We're going to make hard work pay with lower income taxes. We're going to fight for small businesses to keep more of their money and, and have less red tape and paperwork to fill out. We're going to clear away the bureaucracy so that we can build the homes and your families can once again afford to buy a nice house in which to raise children. And we're going to stop the crime. We're going to bring in jail, not bail, for repeat violent offenders. Treatment, not more drugs, to bring our loved ones home drug-free. Yes. We're going to secure our borders to keep out the illegal drugs and guns at the same time as protecting your right to lawfully own firearms for sport, sport shooting and for hunting. And we're going to stand up for the rights of parents to raise their own children with their values on matters of sexuality and gender. Finally, we're going to, we're going to give Filipino professionals the chance to work in their field. We'll bring in a national blue seal so that Filipino nurses who come here can take the Blue Seal exam, prove they're qualified, and get to work within our hospitals within 60 days. We're gonna make this a country where hard work once, once again pays off, where the Canadian dream is real, where it doesn't matter where you come from, but where you're going. It doesn't matter who you knew, it matters what you can do. A country where everybody can achieve their dreams, where you can buy a home in a safe neighborhood and, and enjoy affordable, nutritious food. A, a country where the common people are in charge. Based on the common sense of the common people, united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Tarana! 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 Mabuhay! Tarana! Tarana! So Pierre is going to spend as uh, much time as is needed to make sure that everyone that like, would like a photo will have an opportunity to do that. I'll ask that people kind of line up over uh, to this side of the stage to get an opportunity to do some photos. We're going to ask though all of the Conservative MPs and Senators that are here tonight if you can come up to do the first group photo with Pierre and then we'll ask everybody else who would like a photo please line up and you can have individual photos. Hindi ka naman senator. Hindi ka pa senator. Senator pa raw eh. The, the dignitaries first. Dignitaries. Yeah, dignitaries first. I think it's Tarana. Yeah. <laughs> Sabi niya dignitaries first, mga senator. 